Hi all, um, this is Michael here. In today's video, we are going to go through on how to actually flash the, uh, um, what do you call that, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus back to the stock factory ROM. I mean, this is currently run, running Lineage OS. I mean, of course, if you are actually using the phone uh, every day, then uh, that should be the ROM that you are using because it's, uh, it's more up to date. In terms of, in terms of the um, uh, security patches and stuff. So yeah, this is like depends on what what you want to do with this. So if you were to keep it like myself uh, as a collection stuff, and you would like to put it back to stock Android, then you can actually flash it back to stock Android. So this video will show you how to do that. So without further delay, let's get on with it. So first thing first, um, you will need to make sure that you have the um, USB debugging enabled. So what we need to do normally is to pick a build number. And once you have developed development settings, so you can go to develop options and make sure that the USB debugging, Android debugging is enabled. And do an OK. Right. Then you can go back to the main screen. And let's get on with it. Okay, uh, before we start, of course, first of all, we need to make sure ADB is installed in your computer. So I'll leave a link down below on where you should install, uh, where you should get the ADB. I'm using minimal ADB and fast boot. It's, it's, it's one of the simplest uh, ADB for you to use. So here what we do is uh, normally we'll do an ADB devices. To make sure the connection is ready so if you look at it um, normally it's unauthorized uh, first time and you connect yeah because there's something that you need to actually accept on the phone itself that they will be asking you to actually enable the um, android debugging and stuff so you need to press on always allow from this computer and press on ok can actually move on and do an ADB devices again on the and as you can see now the device is attached so what we can do now is do an ADB reboot boot loader to get into fast boot okay uh, from here once you are reboot rebooted into fast boot you can do a fast boot devices to ensure your device is connected so if you don't see anything here, most probably there will be some other issues that you need to rectify. Okay, for those for those who have issues uh, having issues with the uh, Galaxy Nexus drivers and stuff, I've actually tried multiple multiple stuff, uh, multiple ways of doing USB drivers and stuff, but it doesn't seem to work well. So the only way that I find that is pretty useful will be installing a, an app called PDA dot uh, PDA Net, where they will update the uh, USB drivers for you so that actually uh, update both the fast boot as well as the um, ADB drivers uh, successfully onto the Galaxy Nexus so I'll leave a link down below where you guys can actually download the PDA net for you to actually set up the drivers once you have that set up and continue on with the process okay after you have booted to fast boot then you need to make sure that you have uh, fast boot connectivity to the phone so you can do a fast boot devices as you can see the password is connected now so you need to navigate to your stock image folder which is a young Chu. so if you look at it this is the stock image folder so basically on, on a nutshell what you can do now is just to do a flash all that's the, sim the simplest stuff to do you do a flash all they will flash everything um, to the latest stock stuff i mean like radio yeah, boot loader, yeah, recovery, everything into the uh, stock setup. So once you're ready, what you need to do is just do a flash dash all uh, PAT, and you just press and enter. Then they will be doing all the uh, boot loader rebooting again. They will be waiting for device now. And once your boot loader got rebooted, they will flash the remaining stuff. This is 
done now as you can see you can just uh, click on press any key to exit and you're done with the flashing process and we'll just wait for the phone side to finish so as you can see now the phone is basically booting up uh, the first boot normally will take a while so this is the stock 4.3 uh, Android setup just wait until the device get booted Okay, as you can see now, the device has been booted up, um, so we can actually just start off with the setup process. So what we can do now is just to click the start, and I'll just skip the SIM card portion. And we can skip the Wi-Fi portion, just skip anyway. And we can uncheck all this, if you don't want any kind of like submission and stuff to set out, then we just get next, next, uh, yeah, and finish. Okay, so as you can see, this is the stock setup that we have on the phone itself. Um, I can't say it's like super good, but it's really not too bad if you ask me. It's still like quite smooth and stuff. And as you can see, the Android 4.3, and basically that is the uh, updates that we have. Okay, that's all. That's that. That's the stock ROM that you are having here. So what I'm saying is, um, if you are using this phone as of 2017, and if you need to have updated security patches, um, it would be good for you to flash the custom lineage OS, uh, which I have a video on. Um, but if you are like me, if you want to just keep it as a collection, you are not going to use it that much. So you just want to keep everything in as stock as possible. Then um, uh, this is a pretty good option to actually flash it to the stock image and leave it running there so that's all for today's folks um, if you do have any question in regards to the flashing process you can let me know uh, I'll try to help as much as I can and uh, please do give it a thumbs up if you like the video and do subscribe for any future update of uh, Galaxy's uh, I mean of Nexus devices WebOS devices or any other gadgets that I have and um, last thing one last thing is that I do have some giveaways um, coming soon um, in the next week or so so please do subscribe for updates so you are you guys are part of the um, giveaway process it's not nothing great it's nothing great it's just some uh, fire tv sticks um, some quick charger and as well as some um, bluetooth speakers that i've tested so that's all for now thank you for watching bye